Victoria Falls Of all the world's waterfalls, Victoria Falls is one of the largest, most spectacular and mightiest waterfalls ever seen. Victoria Falls is a waterfall that David Livingston sighted in South Africa in 1855. The explorer named it in the honor of Queen Victoria of England. Victoria Falls lies between Zambia and Zimbabwe, about halfway between the mouth and source of the Zambezi River. The river is about one mile wide and drops suddenly into a deep narrow chasm. A canyon about 40 miles long permits the water to flow out. The height of the falls varies from 256 feet at the right bank to 343 feet in the center. Numerous islets at the crest of the falls divide the water to form a series of falls. The spray from the falls typically rises to a height of over 1,300 feet and sometimes even twice as high and is visible from up to 30 miles away. At full moon, a moon bow can be seen in the spray instead of the usual daylight rainbow. The cloud and constant roar of the falls cause the people of the area to name it Mosio Tunia, meaning smoke of the thunders. It is thought that the earth movement in an earlier geological period diverted the southeasterly flowing upper Zambezi River to a general easterly direction and so initiated the development of a waterfall in an area occupied by a massive bed of basalt which is about 305 meters thick. The whole volume of the Zambezi River pours through the first gorgeous 360 feet wide exit for a distance of about 500 feet and then enters a zigzagging series of gorges designated by the order in which the river reaches them. Water entering the second gorge makes a sharp right turn and has carved out a deep pool there called the Boiling Pot, which is a major tourist attraction. A famous feature is a naturally formed pool known as the Devil's Pool near the edge of the falls accessed via Livingston Island in Zambia. When the river flow is at a safe level, usually during the months of September to December, people can swim as close as possible to the edge of the falls within the pool. Victoria Falls is roughly twice the height of North America's Niagara Falls and well over twice the width of its Horseshoe Falls. In height and width, Victoria Falls is rivaled only by South America's Iguazu Falls. The river's annual flood season is February to May with a peak in April. In September to January, up to half of the rocky face of the falls become dry and the bottom of the first gorge can be seen. The minimum flow which occurs in November is around a tenth of the April figure. During the flood season, it is impossible to see the foot of the falls and most of its face. And the walks along the cliff opposite it are in a constant shower and shrouded in mist. Close to the edge of the cliff, spray shoots are observed in an upward direction which looks like inverted rain. There are two national parks at the falls. Mosiwa Tunya National Park, which is 66 square kilometers, and Victoria Falls National Park, which is 23 square kilometers. Next to the latter on the southern bank is the Zambezi National Park, extending 40 kilometers west along the river. The national parks contain abundant wildlife, including sizable populations of elephant, buffalo, giraffe, zebra, antelope, 
vervet monkeys and baboons are common. The river above the falls contains large populations of hippopotamus and crocodiles. Due to the construction of bridges, the falls have become more accessible for tourists. The Victoria Falls Bridge was commissioned by Cecil John Rhodes in 1900. The grandeur and beauty of Victoria Falls has earned itself the tag of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This spectacle is in fact one of the seven wonders.